coming to the coming to the pathogenesis the crystals are phagocyte by the macrophage so due to the crystal like or needle like structure they rupture the leukocytes and there is a release of cytokines enzymes and inflammatory mediators like prostaglandulin and oxygen react to oxygen species this react to oxygen species so there is an lysis or there is an erosion of the cartilage within the joints okay and also it produces the inflammatory conditions that is redness and swelling so this prostaglandin react to oxygen species so when they are uh, uh, secreted in the you know, synovial fluid so it induces the acute inflammations so this is about the regarding the pathogenesis one more important thing in etiology uh, etopathogenesis i told you that there is a destruction of uh, in uh, proliferative dis uh, proliferative dis diseases like uh, leukemia so the w when there is a destruction of wbc wbc so there is a, it uh, it leads to an uric acid increase uric acid level so in hemolytic anemia where there is an increased excess destruction of uh, rbc so it doesn't lead to a uric acid increase uric acid level in the blood because the, uh, the rbc doesn't contain nucleus so this is a more important you have to remember at clinical part okay coming to the clinical features so in acute so it happens randomly it uh, maybe uh, happens one or a few times last for one to two weeks so there is an sudden onset of pain sudden onset of pain pain is sudden onset so it is a uh, dramatic pain so it is aggravated in the night nocturnal pain it is a more characteristic symptoms you can find in uh, uh, gout so it is usually associated with uh, malaise malaise and uh, sometimes occasionally or rarely associated with fever rarely it is associated may it may associated with fever so there is no joint damage tends to start over the big toe usually it start over the big toe it may also involves the hip joint shoulder hip joint shoulder finger elbow ankle or knee okay so uh, so the the patient may usually complains of sudden i told you already that there is a sudden onset of pain swelling redness in the joint pain stiffness and there is an excoriating pain pain is excoriating and unbearable pain the patient is very sensitive to the pressure even the uh, touch of cloth he can't bear okay there is severe pain pain may be last for 1 uh, to 3 days and then it may subside after 7 to 10 days without leaving any sequelae okay then uh, coming to the uh, chronic conditions so due to the chronic elevated uric acid levels so it may lead to the urolithiasis that is kidney stone which and also it may lead to a repeated attack of uh, acute gout so it may lead to a damage joint damage there is a deposition of uric acid crystal under the subcutaneous tissue called as tophi so to they will in exam they will ask for two marks in annual exam what is top five so there is a deposition of uric acid crystals under the subcutaneous tissue top five are the white yellow nodule under the skin okay so coming to the investigations uh, already i have uh, posted an uh, x ray in uh, ppt that uh, in chronic uh, conditions we can see there is an overhanging edge punch out with sclerotic border degenerative changes so this degenerative changes we have to differentiate with the osteoarthritis so in gout it is more commonly seen in big toe but in osteoarthritis it is more commonly seen in the degenerative changes we can see in the knee so this is the differentiating between the gout and the osteoarthritis the next important investigation is synovial fluid analysis when we aspirate the synovial fluid and when we see under the polarized light microscope we can see there is a needle rod shape crystals they are needle and rod shape crystals and negative bis fragrance negative negative by refrigerations refrigerations so it is a important investigations we can find in the polarized light microscope in the synovial fluid okay so next is important thing is uh, Mm, that is uh, pseudo gout so we are completed the gout then next is we are going to the pseudo gout 
that is in pseudogout there is a deposition of uh, calcium pyrophosphate crystals so in gout there is an monosodium urate crystals so in uh, pseudogout there is a deposition of calcium pyrophosphate crystals the risk factor it is seen in the old age associated with conditions like uh, hyperparathyroidism hyper uh, magnesemia okay so we have to differentiate with the gout that uh, in uh, pseudogout it is more commonly seen in the old age so in gout it is we can see in second and fourth decades of the life okay so in pseudogout it affects more commonly it affects over the knee in gout it more commonly it affects over the great toe okay coming to the symptoms it is symptoms like osteoarthritis arthritis of the joint pain swelling and stiffness it more commonly affect the knee wrist hip and shoulder okay triggering factor that is illness and trauma then coming to the diagnosis arthrocentrosis we have to again aspirate and, and we have to see under the polarized uh, light microscope there is a presence of uh, cppd crystals that is calcium pyrophosphate crystals here we can see a positive by refrigerant by refrigerant so this is a more important differentiation between the gout and the pseudogout okay this is about the pseudogout